Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Shogun to Fall of the Samurai with the Anglo-Sulu War mod. Today we're going to take the Anglo part out of it, and we're actually going to pit a Boer force against a Sulu army. They're evenly matched in terms of the money I've spent on the both, both these forces. So for the Boer, we've got 14 of their skirmish infantry, 6 of their cavalry units, and then to give them a little bit more of a fighting chance against the Sulu horde that they're coming up against, I've given them 3 units of Gatling guns. For the part of the Sulus, we've got an even split of the musket-wielding uh, Sulu warriors, and the spear-wielding Sulu warriors. Let's see how the Boers are able to protect their hilltop settlement against this onslaught. Here we get a quick overview of the disposition of our two forces. There's about 12,000 Sulus now coming at us, and our troops are preparing. We're already opening fire on this side. Um, We've got a few access points up onto the hills. We got this area right here. We got this one here, through here. But I mean, there's only really these two. What it looks like, possibly this one, where the Sulu is going to come in. So as I said, we've got 14 of these uh, skirmish-type formation of uh, Transvaal Burger Force. So we got 14 of these spread out along here. And then we've got six cavalry units, one of which contains the leader. And right now we got the Gatling guns coming up. I'm actually going to order one Gatling gun to fall back and we'll have like the last resort kind of area. Um, not the kind of resort though where you... that's all inclusive. This one is just for Gatling guns. So we can see the Sulu forces. What I'm actually thinking here is uh, the cavalry do have an advantage and they can quickly uh, like move. So I'm going to take the, put these down here. We're going to dismount and we're going to set up in this uh, area right here because we can set our troops behind cover here. So we're going to have two Gatling guns. One is going to be rolled up right there. And then I'm thinking the other one will be set up to fire straight down here. I'm thinking these two units actually need to be pulled back because uh, the Sulus are getting quite close. And I think I need to reorganize quite a bit of troops here. Because these guys do not have anything to fire at. And then we need to move more troops towards the center. Right, the, the Scatling gun is ready to set up. Ready to unlimber. This one need to unlimber as soon as bloody possible. We'll tell this one to hold fire to start off with. I missed my opportunity to dismount these. We're gonna pull back and instead we're gonna have this one. A slight angle. I'm gonna have a hard time actually setting up here because the Sulus are closing in so fast. Uh, same here, we're gonna have a little bit of a trouble getting out of the way for the Gatling guns. Which just now start to open fire down upon the Sulu warriors which are coming up. Same with over here. Although it looks like our troops will hopefully... Can I get one to hold these guys off? No, unfortunately. However, there's a massive kind of break within the Sulu force. And they're actually being forced back. Wonderful. Like, back on the Gatling guns then. At the same time, we've got massive force coming straight at us here. Unfortunately, they have struck us. Gatling gun is forced to be pulled back. These are still firing. But as we can see, we're uh, ending up in quite the difficulty here. We're going to have to retreat inside. These two need to get to here. And we'll see if we're able to redraw more troops. This one is now coming under attack. We'll have to bring up troops to the side here. 
to try and defend against this. These two Gatling guns are going just fine. The Sulus, though, as much as we have uh, been able to defeat a lot of Zulus, there's still like tons of them coming at us. Especially these right here. Oh, I was lucky there that I was able to defeat them. Are these guys running or are they attacking? They are attacking in fact. There's more coming. I don't know what they're doing standing right in front of the machine gun though. And they're finally... They were broken. I think I might be able to get back on that one though. If I'm lucky. Uh, this position is uh, slowly falling to the way. Okay, we're going to have to retreat these. All the cavalry oh, needs to uh, run back to the fallback position. That Gatling gun needs to set up. How many troops could I possibly try and save out of this? Overall, it looks like the town here is going to get overrun. We are able to hold quite a bit. We held off quite a bit of troops there. Let's see if we can save some of these units. There's some brave warriors holding on at the very front here. But unfortunately, lots are being overrun. And uh, yeah, we, even though we were able to probably kill quite a few, it wasn't enough. There's still tons of Zulus left. We're going to set up the cavalry down here. We're going to dismount them and we're going to set up along these walls. And then also it looks like I managed to get two of these units. It's going to get down here as well. We're going to tell them to hold fire. Yeah, the area up here completely overrun. But we did plenty of damage to the Zulu force. Moving up here, there's tons of dead Zulus, but you can still see just the sheer amount of Zulus coming after us here. Okay, if my, if my cavalry could actually like get in order already, I, the Zulus are right behind the retreating force here. Dismount and hurry up to uh, defensive positions. Not something you want to hear that you know, the uh, we've got allied forces that have been completely wiped out. Let's see if I can get this one to actually go a little bit to the side. So I can try and save them by opening up fire here with the Gatling guns. Try and hold those Sulus off. Save this one unit. Try to avoid shooting this unit. Ah, oh, right. We managed to get past. Nice. Hold fire. Are they coming through? Looks like some units might be moving on the flank. Let's not waste ammo on retreating troops right now. Hold fire. What it looks like is we've got extra troops moving on that side. So we'll bring two of the cavalry units over there. Then I'm thinking the general's unit will be stationed here. The two infantry units will be stationed here. You will now be moved up to the wall. And at this point... Everyone should be set to uh, fire at will. Since we want to hold off the Sulus. As I do realize this. Right, everyone clear the machine gun so I can actually open for fire here. We got tons of Zulus coming down. I'm not sure we're going to do it, but if we're going to do it, it's going to be uh, thanks to the uh, machine guns. Right, I want them to open up fire right now. Oh, we're firing through the general unit. 
They're sitting down, so it should be kind of fine, but I want to uh, switch them over a little bit. So this flanking force could definitely be the thing to unsettle us if we don't have troops set up to deal with them. Because we're producing a high volume of fire here. And it looks like they're not really able to bring the general to bear to uh, support the troops enough. They are getting closer though. They are getting closer, but it looks like it might not be enough. And the flanking force is coming in too late. But even then, the, fl the flanking force is quite a mighty force of troop. And as I'm saying that, the ever so slightly, every single unit gets a little bit closer to our position here. How's the ammo? Ammo count is fine. We're not going to run out of ammo. Although that is also a concern. And I would say here that the main Sulu force marching down here is, has been defeated. The one on the flank though, jeez, I didn't realize there were that many. We have killed and they're kind of spreading out here. kind of facing us. I'm gonna quickly move as many extra troops as I can over to the side. The Gatling gun is free to continue there. There's no one coming on that side. These troops need to be relocated as well. The general in this unit can stay. That's fine for now. But we need to relocate more troops to this side. Because uh, it's looking a little bit dicey here. Right, there's the Zulus are getting really close here. I'm not entirely sure why you don't want to fire. Instead you want to just mob like that. And that's what you get for not shooting. Now you're getting uh, almost overrun by this Zulu force. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to Although uh, they do say a glorious victory is in my, in my future, and it looks like the Sulus they have lost too many men in this battle, and they're realizing that the uh, the game is up. It's time to retreat. It seems like it came down to. Um, one really well-placed machine gun. And there we have it. There we have victory. The battle was won, although very few of my troops actually survived. Out of 14 of my infantry units, only two survived. Um, out of the Gatlings, only one survived. Cavalry, though, because they're able to quickly move were able to get away. It's going to be interesting to see how many Sulus died in this battle because we can see like loads and loads of them fleeing the battlefield. So I think quite a lot of them didn't actually die. Has used all its ammunition, sir. I just as like the battle the battle ended like 30 seconds ago and now the Gatling gun is completely out of fire. But with that it's time to take a look at the statistics and see what kind of damage we did and received.
And there we have the statistics of what we can see is we had a Boer force of about 3,000 men against 12 
thousand roughly Zulus. We ended up losing almost two thirds, seventeen hundred or eighteen hundred men, and we ended up killing about seven thousand Zulus. So that's just slightly more than half of them were killed. Uh, that would make around six thousand of them still alive and retreating from the field. In terms of friendly fire, it's negligible. In terms of kills, I'm expecting quite... Uh, that's quite a high for the one Gatling gun at the end there. R literally ran out of ammo. It killed 1300 men, or to be precise, 1299. Followed by one of the Transvaal units that only lost a man, so that is the uh, one of the units that were able to escape. So that killed 647 men. We have another one, but that was completely wiped out. Managed to kill 509. Second Gatling gun. The one that was set up in the middle was able to kill 480 before it was overrun. Uh, third Gatling gun did not do too well. He managed to kill 250. Comprised though that it's 30 men operating these four guns. For them to kill 250 men, that's still a pretty uh, decent amount. In terms, the cavalry don't end up that high, even though they were kind of crucial or they were part of the battle for a very long time. They also didn't lose that many men. What of my units did worst? It's actually two of the cavalry units that did really poorly. We also have some of these units that did pretty poorly, where they lost more than what they uh, killed. Uh, the problem with the infantry is that once the Zulus get close enough, they don't have a chance to outrun the Zulus in a retreat. Um, so, yeah, it's... It, I'm To micromanage it, you would have to constantly have two units kind of or two sections kind of one firing one pulling back in um, sequential order like that um, which could be possible but there would have to be very specific terrain features and stuff for that I think and then like an open plat field uh, plain field um, plat field um, for the Zulus we've got one unit Almost completely destroyed, but 345. Overall, the Sulus, it was quite an even mix in terms of what they killed. We got quite a few, though. We got almost... What is that? Almost 10 units that didn't kill a single soul. We also have a few units that lost very few men before they decided to retreat entirely. This one lost about 50 men out of the 300 before they decided to leave. But that probably was at the very end and seeing as though 7,000 of their uh, friends or allies, fellow countrymen, lay dead on the field, he, I too probably would decide to leave. Um, here we can see the chieftain actually killed 46 so he was part of the fighting there, even though he was completely gunned down at the end. And also you can see the way I boosted him to kind of give an overall morale boost to the entire Sulu army. What I could have done is I probably could have mixed in a few more uh, better units, more older units. In this case I decided to only have two of them, two different kinds of units, because I want to max out the numbers of Sulus. But they could probably have done better with some units that were more experienced than uh, just the sort of the first tier spearmen. But there we have that. With very high losses, as been for all these battles, the Boers were still able to uh, hold on to their settlement, although the settlement is now full of. There's 10,000 dead bodies in the settlement, so it's going to take a while before that becomes livable again. But there we have it. And with that said, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.